Steph Curry is one of the most innovative shot creators in this era, and he's definitely one of the most exciting players to watch, especially when he's putting up those ridiculous three-point shots we all love. These are the 10 most iconic shots that Steph ever made. At number 10, we open this countdown with this crazy game winner against the Mavs. So the score is deadlocked at 120, and basically it's going to be a next basket wins type of scenario for the Dubs since there's so little time left on the clock. I'm not sure why the Mavs put Calderon here against Steph, but I think Rick Carlisle was signaling his team to double team Steph, so he would give up the ball and force someone else to take the shot instead. Anyway, the Mavs probably weren't aware of that, and they paid the price dearly. At five, at four, Curry to win! Man, I don't know if Steph has a personal vendetta against the Mavs, because just four years later... All right, guys, I know those game winners were impressive, but wait till you see what I got in store for you at number nine. The dubs are down by two here against the Magic with a little under 10 seconds left to go in the fourth. And with the game on the line, Steve Kerr left it in Steph's hands by not calling a timeout. And here's what the chef did. At five, Curry for the lead. Yep, the chef just stunned the Magic by hitting that three in transition when the Warriors were down by two with just under 10 seconds remaining on the game clock. Sheesh, guys. Anyways. Now, I know that was a difficult shot to make, but I'm pretty sure that's nothing compared to the degree of difficulty on this next one. With less than 10 seconds left in the game, the Dubs were looking to hand the Pelicans their first win of the series as they were down by three. After Steph missed the first attempt, Spates was at the right place at the right time to grab the offensive board, and for someone as deadly as Steph is from beyond the arc, giving the man another clean look at the rim is just asking for it. And even if you put two defenders on him, none of that would matter because Steph would not miss twice in a row. Curry's got it. And Curry will let it go for three, comes up short, offensive rebound, Curry again, and Curry! To have an in-depth look at that moment, let's hear what Steve Kerr had to say about that ridiculous shot. To make that shot shows everything that Steph is about. His confidence level is just off the charts. He's fearless. He wants every big shot. Now, aside from embarrassing multiple defenders at the same time, Steph also has a knack for putting up crazy shots against taller and much bigger defenders. I mean, check out Gortat right here. After Steph toyed with him inside the lane, Steph played with his food a bit more when he relocated to the corner and faked out Gortat so badly that the poor guy needed a map to figure out where Curry brought him. With Oklahoma City. Gortat trying to stay with Steph. Oh, no. Another player who fell victim to Steph's savagery is the big guy right here, Mark Gasol. To Mark's credit, he did try to swipe the ball a couple of times, but that's all the positive that I'm about to say before Steph did him dirty. Oh, Steph, 10-3, there it is! And finally, regardless if you're a defensive player of the year or not, Curry will not hesitate to put you in his highlight reels, especially if you have slow feet. Check out this iconic shot against Rudy Gobert. This is game one, Western Conference semifinals. As Curry does his magic, gets by Gobert. I mean, if you can't dance with the chef, he'll definitely put you in blender mode instead. Well, sometime last year, Gobert vividly recalled this incident during an interview, and here's what he had to say. I was in a blender there. I was in a blender. I remember that we really didn't want to give up threes with Steph. He kind of pulled back. I thought he was going to shoot a three, so I'm ready to contest the shot. Then all of a sudden he snatched back, then he drives. So I'm ready to contest, and then he drives. So I'm like, okay, I can't give up on that play. So I'm spinning, spin around, try to recover and block the shot, but it was too late. As spectacular of a shot as that was, here's another iconic shot from Curry's game at MSG that actually made him famous. Against the tough defense of Raymond Felton, Curry put up a dribbling exhibition in this postseason before hitting a clutch three while Tyson Chandler and Felton were all over him. Steph had 54 on that game. And speaking of his high scoring ball games, why don't we take a look at some of the iconic half court shots that he made during the All-Star game. Russell Westbrook and by Kawhi Leonard. And his numbers. And the fans are also obviously aware 
of Paul George being one point away. I mean, those two were just basic practice shots for Steph, but in the recent All-Star game, he took the level of insanity to another gear by doing these. And if that's not enough, a no-look logo three from mid-court? Sheesh. From checking out some of his ridiculous half-court he's from the All-Star game, let's now continue the second half of our countdown featuring Steph pulling the trigger against the All-Star players themselves. When Curry sees DeAndre Jordan prowling in the lane in this postseason, he decides then to pull back at the baseline, and then this happened. Curry in on shakes ball out of his boots. Wait, let's check that out one more time. I actually call this the Matrix move, cause CP3 was like Neo dodging bullets when Curry put him on skates. And if my memory serves me right, this isn't the first time that Steph humiliated CP3 on national TV. Because just about a month before this happened, here's what Steph did to the point guard. Curry, all oh, pretty fake, pulls up. From embarrassing CP3 on live TV, let's now take a look at when he embarrassed the King on the biggest stage of them all. You see, in the 2017 NBA Finals, Steph and LeBron had a mano a mano moment in the third quarter of Game 2. And when all eyes were fixated on them, Curry put on the bus driver's cap and simply took LeBron to school. Well, speaking of the NBA Finals, here's another ridiculous shot that Curry pulled against LeBron's teammate. We all know how tough Matthew Della Vadova was in terms of bringing the heat on D, but in this instance, the chef just cooks him on his grill with a combination of fancy handles before blasting him with a sidestep long bomb. Crossover, fires away, wow! Now, since we're talking about the most iconic shots that Steph made in his career, I bet you're quite familiar with this next clip that I'm about to show you. It's the defense behind the back. Fires a three. Oh, he puts it. All right, let's break it down further to analyze the degree of difficulty on this one. So, coming off a dribble handoff, Curry splits the defense first, and then he went for a between the legs behind the back combo, and right after that, he went for a turnaround step back three while in traffic. Man, in my opinion, this has to be one of the most amazing shots that we'll ever see in NBA history. And speaking of that shot, Steve Kerr sarcastically joked about it when a reporter asked what his reaction was when Curry pulled that one off, and here's what he had to say. What was my reaction? Great shot, Steph. Good job. Just like we worked on earlier in practice. The shot became so iconic not only because of the shot itself, but Steve Kerr's reaction afterward. And in that same interview, Kerr walked through what was going on in his mind as the play was about to happen. I think there were nine seconds left on the shot clock when he took that shot, and it looked like Steph thought there was one second on the shot clock. The way he shot it and the possession was strange. The ball was moving around a little bit. We were a little out of whack, and I'm yelling, plenty of time, plenty of time. Then he throws the ball up, like, what are you? Good job. Anyway guys, we're now down to the last clip, and at number one of Steph Curry's most iconic baskets, here's the three-point bomb that many consider as the shot that was heard around the world. Tied at 118, the Dubs once again didn't call a timeout and instead put the game in the hands of the greatest shooter on the planet. As he casually crossed the midcourt, no one in the arena nor players from OKC expected him to pull the trigger from that range, except for himself a timeout decide not to use it curry way downtown bang bang oh what a shot sheesh guys what a shot anyway steph curry is 33 years old now but he's still taking young 20 year olds to school on a daily basis but do y'all know how he's doing it well then no fret just click here I analyze in this video just how Steph Curry is still schooling the younger, taller, and more athletic players, and the, trust me when I say, you don't want to miss this video. So click it guys, and like always, I'll see you on the other side.